Hello community, are you interested in some nice GPT prompts? Today on innovation. So at first we define our topic. I would like some insights from Clayton Christians. Then we define an audience, a persona, the style, and the content aim, what I want to achieve with this. And I can add a challenge. And you see with this example, ChatGPT starts to work. It writes now in the persona of Professor Klistjönsson, which is one of my old professors, and it's about the theory of disruptive innovation. And I just more or less need this text as an entry to a later comparison. So we start with a very simple prompt design, and we have now a look. So, innovation dynamics, constantly evolving, new technology, new business models, yes. Innovation and disruptive innovation has proven to be a valuable tool for understanding market disruptions. And if you think about now OpenAI with ChatGPT and you think about Microsoft with its Bing, you absolutely understand what's going on here. And I ask him, hey, for the last hundred words, argue against it. And it says, okay, it oversimplifies the complexity of the innovation dynamics. The theorem hacks a winner takes all mindset and the co-creation is not really present. So I say, excellent. Given this insight, how would you rate chat GPT in innovation dynamics? And then he says, what is chat GPT? Yes, it's note is an ultimate, ultimately a product of human innovation. Yes, yes, yes. And he says, uh, Ever-evolving nature of innovation, yes, rapid advancement in AI, ability to continuously learn, adapt to user interaction, of course, and maybe highly advanced AI language model, but is still subject to the same limitation and biases as everything else. So I say, okay, now if you qualify as a disruptive innovation, are you a disruptive innovation? And it says, from the theory of disruptive innovation, ChatGPT can be considered potentially a disruptive innovation. And now I have a conversation where the ChatGPT is now a position where it says, yes, I am a disruptive object. Of course, it is not guaranteed. There's the potential to disrupt existing markets. And now you know where I go. Now I can start now to compare OpenAI to Microsoft and the market competition between them. So I ask, is the financing of the development of ChatGPT by some massive investments from Microsoft early on a recommended path for advancing innovation, or will it lead to the acquisition of OpenAI by Microsoft? And the answer by ChatGPT is now the financing of the development of ChatGPT can be viewed from different perspectives. On the one hand, and this is nice, the injection of capital from a major player like Microsoft can help accelerate the development and the commercialization of innovation technologies. Additionally, such partnership can provide access to resources that may not be available to smaller startups. And this happened, OpenAI did not have the supercomputer, the cloud supercomputer infrastructure. However, there's also a risk that such partnerships could lead to the acquisition of the startup by the larger player. Now we are there as was the case with OpenAI and Microsoft. You see what happened? He took my bait in the prompt design. From the perspective of innovation theory, the acquisition of a disruptive innovation by an established player can potentially stifle innovation by limiting competition and creating barriers to entry for smaller players. Think about ChatGPT. Additionally, the focus of a larger player may shift towards maintaining their market dominance Bing, rather than pursuing further innovation. So, therefore, while partnership with larger players can provide benefit for startups like OpenAI and JetGPT, it is important to carefully consider the long-term implication of such relationships on innovation and competition. Ultimately, the financing and development of innovation should be guided by a focus on advancing the state of the art and, yes, and so I ask now, what does the innovation theory, like the one by Clayton Christensen, predict for the duo of OpenAI and Microsoft regarding their common future potential for market growth and innovation? And the answer is nice. It says, from the perspective of the innovation theory, the acquisition of OpenAI by Microsoft, you remember my bait in the prompt, 
has the potential to limit competition and stifle innovation in the AI industry. The theory of disruptive innovations are just that the disruptive innovation typically arise from smaller players who are able to leverage those new technologies and business models to create new markets or disrupt existing ones. Now, in the case of OpenAI and Microsoft, the acquisition of OpenAI by a larger player like Microsoft could potentially lead to a consolidation of power and reduction in competition. This could limit the ability of other startups to enter the market and innovate, as well as reduce incentives for Microsoft to continue investing in innovative technologies. Wow, interesting. So, and then it goes on. Uh, yeah, we have short-term benefits for both companies, increased resources, access to a larger user base. There's a hype, yes, but to mitigate risk is important to promote competition. So we ask. So we ask ChatGPT, what should OpenAI do and respond to the potential threat of integration into Microsoft, given that they have a profit-sharing agreement? And this profit-sharing agreement with Microsoft could potentially provide a source of funding for further growth, yes, but it is also a problem because they could now create new products or services that are not directly competitive with Microsoft's existing offering, which could help OpenAI to continue innovating and creating value for its user while avoiding the direct competition with Microsoft. Or they could focus on developing new technology or business models that are complementary to Microsoft's existing offerings instead of directly competing with them. The key of success for OpenAI will maintain a focus on innovation, create value for its users, and require careful strategic analysis. ChatGPT to write a future scenario in which OpenAI is fighting against the board dominance of Microsoft and analyze possible action open to OpenAI to regain independence. Responds in a scientific augmentation based on innovation theory and investment criteria. At the end of your response, predict the survival of OpenAI in percent. And ChatGPT answers that a fight against the board dominance of Microsoft is possible, but it would be a challenging situation for OpenAI to navigate. According to Clayton Christiansen, Tier of Innovation, established players in the industry tend to resist disruptive innovation that threaten their existing business and market position. This could make it difficult for OpenAI to continue innovating and disrupting their AI industry if it is constrained by Microsoft board. One possible action for OpenAI to regain independence would be to seek out new investment partners who are more aligned with its mission and vision for the future of AI. This could include venture capitalists, other technology companies that are focused on innovation and disruption. Why not Google? Another option would be for OpenAI to focus on developing new technology or business models that are complementary to Microsoft existing offerings rather than directly competitive with them. A third option would be for OpenAI to explore new markets, new products, new services that are not directly competitive with Microsoft offerings. It should be noted that regaining independence from a dominant board like Microsoft would be a challenging task and would require significant resources, strategic planning and a willingness to take risk and experiment with new ideas and approaches. It is also possible OpenAI may not be able to regain full independence and may need to continue operating within the constraint of Microsoft. And now comes the most important term. In terms of survival of OpenAI, it is difficult to predict. However, ChatGPT would estimate the survival changes of OpenAI at 70%. This is fascinating. And when I ask, explain how you come to the 70%, ChatGPT answers, OpenAI is a well-established player in the industry, strong reputation, strong AI research. OpenAI has already demonstrated its ability to attract significant investments and support from a range of sources, tech companies. Third, OpenAI has shown its willingness to experiment new business model technologies has a track record of success in disrupting existing markets and creating new opportunities. And it states, however, there are significant risks and challenges associated with the scenario of fighting against the board dominance 
of Microsoft. And ChatGPT goes on, my estimate of 70% chance of survival in the voice of Clayton Christensen is based on a careful consideration of the company's strengths and weaknesses, the broader trends and dynamics in the AI industry. OpenAI has the potential to continue innovating and creating value for its users, even in the face of those challenges. An amazing analysis based on generative AI. But okay, then I ask, hey, if you would estimate the chances for the survival of Microsoft, given the new innovation path OpenAI might discover and OpenAI might succeed in, what percentage would you rate the survival of Microsoft, given that it has an aggressive investor base? Return on investment. And then ChatGPT took some time. And I really mean it took some time. And what you see here, these three words, they stayed for five minutes. And then I had to restart the hole again and then it continues. It is difficult to estimate the chances for survival of Microsoft in the face of a potential disruption by OpenAI, as there are many factors influence this outcome. However, we assume that OpenAI is successful in discovering and developing new innovation that disrupt Microsoft business model and that Microsoft investor base is as aggressive and demanding, I would estimate the chances of survival for Microsoft to be around 50%. Just 50%. On one hand, Microsoft is an established player in the tech industry with a strong track record of innovation and a significant market presence. On the other hand, disruptive innovation have the potential to create significant upheaval and uncertainty, particularly if they challenge established business models and market position. This could make it difficult for Microsoft to maintain its competitive edge <coughs> and attract the investment and supports it needs to survive. An aggressive investor base could exacerbate those challenges by demanding rapid and sustained growth, which may be difficult to achieve in the face of disruptive innovation from OpenAI. Overall, I would estimate the chances of survival for Microsoft in this scenario to be around 50%. Thank you.